I made one uh, recipe of my white uh, cake mix. I've got two bowls here, and I've got my red and my blue food color. We're gonna put about a half of a cup of uh, cake batter in each bowl. Obviously, this is a, a generous helping. Half a cup here, and a half a cup here. I'll cut that part out. Then we're gonna set the rest of our white aside to finish the cake with. I'm gonna take and spray my pan. You can line it with parchment paper if you want to, whatever. Um, you uh, will just want a big enough pan that you keep this thin enough. We don't want this to bake up very big. So we're just gonna drizzle it in the bottom of this pan. You can put it in a piping bag if you want to, but I'm not going to. I'm just gonna put it all in here, however you want. Keep in mind, guys, that at no point do you want to stir this. Never stir it. You'll just make those colors go together and it'll be all brown. That's what mine looks like. I'm gonna pop it in the oven for about 15 minutes at 325 degrees. And this is what it looks like straight out of the oven. I'm gonna let it cool for just a minute. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, it doesn't, you know, since it was you know, very thin down in there, it's not very thick at all, but we're gonna let it cool so that we can cut it into shapes. Uh-oh, way down. I've got these two star cutters. I'd really like to use this one, but it's too big for my pan, so I'm gonna have to use this star. And I'm gonna cut some stars. I'm going to spray my pan. This is what kind I prefer. Okay, now, oops, let's see a spot right there in the middle. I don't want it to stick. Now, I'm gonna start putting some of the white cake mix. I'm just gonna put it down in the bottom. This cake is for my family and that's why I don't have gloves on. I'm just gonna put just a little down in the bottom. Get that all shake, shake it around. Now, I'm gonna take my stars and I'm gonna start stacking them in my in here make sure you make them you stack them in the same direction not direction but you know, like the same points are, are up so that it's in the same all the way down all right now as you see I didn't cut quite enough oh. and then I just placed my stars in the middle as you can see I didn't have enough I should have cut more but I will It'll still work. Now I'm gonna pour the rest of the, the cake mix over the top. Can shake it all around in there. Now I'm gonna pop it in the oven for about 30 minutes at 325 degrees. Okay, guys, we're gonna cut a few red and blue stars out of fondant to go on the top of our cake. You could uh, do this out of fondant, you could do it out of modeling chocolate, or you don't have to cut stars at all. You could just drizzle uh, chocolate on it if you wanted to. But we're gonna cut us some stars. Why you wanna cut stars, we're gonna use this uh, star cutter. Clay's gonna cut some stars. All right, now we're gonna ice the cake. I've changed my mind. Oops, I'm gonna take it off of this white platter and uh, put it on this red platter. So I'm just gonna take my big spatula thing and pick it up. 
off of this one and put it over here on this one. Like that. Now, we just took some candy melts and melted those. We I had some red ones and some blue ones. They're not they're not the blue ones are not the blue that I wanted, but it's what we had. So we we melted them and we're just going to kind of drizzle this on our cake. Making a big old mess. Okay, now we're just gonna put our stars on it and be done. You wanna you wanna help me put the stars on it, Clay? We decided not to use our blue. Our blue is this color, and we just decided it wouldn't go real good with our cake, so we're not gonna use it. We're just gonna start putting stars on it. We're just gonna lay them all over it. Bunch of blue ones together there, Gina. I did it again. 